This is the exact same 1920s co-op recipe card that was featured in the BBC's Further Back in Time for Dinner TV program, which was effectively a time-travelling food program. The Roaring Twenties were so culturally creative that just one little morsel, one small crumb, could drop from that magical decade and would be enough to start a whole new artistic revolution. Welcome to the Perfection Selection, a Green McCards TV. <coughs> In 2013, I came up with a whimsical idea of fusing cooking with history, with my YouTube series featuring an original set of 1923 co-op recipe tray cards. It was a bit of a coincidence that two years later, the BBC broadcast a television series about a time-travelling family that samples food and life from different decades from the second half of the 20th century. It was so popular that they commissioned the second series which dealt with the first half of the 20th century, including, of course, the 1920s. And they contacted me and asked me whether I would be kind enough to lend them these recipe cards. It's interesting to note that my original videos that the television company had obviously seen don't really have that many views. They still don't. The family in the TV show actually tried out the recipe from this exact coconut pyramids card and that was a convenient point at which they could talk about how the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb and how the subsequent obsession with everything ancient Egyptian paradoxically influenced the forward-looking Roaring Twenties decade. But here are some recipe cards the television company didn't see that I have purchased since that show aired. So I will give you an exclusive tour of them, which you can pause to look more closely whenever you want. These cards were issued by Sanders around 1924, probably inserted into their packets of inner sponge mixture. They obviously produced other products too, related to making cakes and so forth, so no prizes for guessing what ingredients they wanted you to use in their recipes then. Their products of course, which I don't think exist anymore after nearly a hundred years. Now in contrast, with the co-op cards, because I guess their cards came in packets of products that you wouldn't dream of putting in your cakes, like tobacco, the ingredients stated on the backs are more general, more generic, so you could feasibly just go down your local store and buy them now. And they're not obscure things like crow's feet or game birds that you sometimes get in Victorian recipe books. I suppose on these Sanders cards, you could probably easily get round it by using an alternative to their brand but it won't be quite as authentic okay i've seen some of those youtube videos about people eating 50 year old army ration packs that were specifically designed to last a reasonable length of time but i don't think that's going to be the case for these products Although I was curious, so I did have a look on eBay to see whether though there were any really sealed packets still in existence. But I couldn't find anything, and I couldn't even find an image of what the packets were supposed to look like. Knowing Sod's Law though, if you look, you'll probably find them straight away. But even if they do exist, they will probably be way too expensive, mouldy and horrible anyway. But looking on the positive side... These cards clearly show how packets of processed foods for non-essential items, such as cakes, were really taking off in the 1920s. And what a great way to advertise your product range too, by issuing sets of cards that tell you how to use your products. Thank you for watching my video and please feel free to leave a comment and feedback. Now that you see that video, you might want to click on these other Cardboard Adventures.